Mom said the weirdest thing to me the other day. I asked her for money for new video games, and she said, you kids are getting too expensive. You need a job? Wow, our own jobs? You actually get paid money? I could save up for my new bike. Well, Mom said we're too young for most places, but said we could use the lawnmower to cut people's grass. But we have to split our money evenly. That's what our cousin Jake did in his neighborhood. He saved his money and got ice cream and candy every day last year. Wow. wow. He asked all his neighbors on the street if he'd cut their grass, and three people let him do it for money. Well, that's not fair. He didn't have to split his money with anybody. Yeah, but we only have to work half the time he does. Two people, one job, means the job is split in half. And half the money. Well, let's go ask Professor Mace, Dr. Wolfmeyer, and Dr. Staler. They're sure to say yes. Professor Mace offered us $15. Dr. Wolfmeyer offered us $20. And Dr. Staler offered us $23. Well, Dr. Wolfmeyer offered us the only one that was even, so we can split it evenly. $20. That's 10 for you? and 10 for me every weekend. We'll be rich in no time. Did you hear Jake's moving to our neighborhood? Because our school's nicer. That's great, must really stink to leave your job though. Yeah, well maybe he can work with us. And take my money? I don't think so. Well maybe if we do a bigger yard, we can earn more money and split it all between all of us. Let's go ask Beyonce, Mr. Einstein, and President Obama. They have huge yards. They're sure to have money for all of us. Beyonce offered us $33. Mr. Einstein offered us $35. And President Obama offered us $28. So if we have three piles with 33 marbles, that's one for you, one for me, and then one for Jake. And then one for you. Hold up. Dad showed me this little trick. If you add all the numbers together, and divide it by three. If it's divisible, then it can split it three ways. 